Hello, I'm Miles Miller, and I'll be demonstrating to you and explaining to you what objects you need from the CER room when you are checking out a Canon XC15 camera. Before I go into each object and their functions, I would like to explain that you have to treat each and every one of these objects with careful and consideration because as Mr. Machado puts it, if you break it, you buy it. And we are all college students here. So first I'm gonna start off with the AC adapter, the Canon XC15 camera itself, the lens hood for the camera, a hot shoe adapter, an XLR audio module, an LED LED light that is at the bottom. At the bottom, I will explain is a piece that connects to it. A low quality camera shotgun microphone, a special box with three different filters in it that I'll explain later. the Canon XC15 viewfinder, the two batteries that you will need to power the camera, and finally, the cable unit here, the cable unit. So first, I'll start off with the camera itself. This is the Canon XC15 camera. Now, before you can turn the camera on, you will need the batteries. You have to be very careful in what you do with it and how you handle it. So at the bottom, it says battery open. Gently push it back. And now with the battery, you have to be careful in how you place it. Don't force it, don't force anything. If it's not going in the right way, then you're doing something wrong. So right now, right here in my example, I'm putting in the wrong, wrong way and it's not going in completely. So I flip it upside down. And to know if it's in right, it should bounce right back up because there's a spring at the bottom. So once you've gone ahead and played around with that, you push all the way down till you hear the, to hear the click and you see the white right here push in. That's how you know you're good to go. And you close it, always close it when you're, when you're using it. And to know if the camera's on, simply press the on off button. You'll see a green light and use the screen. No memory card, so it's not gonna show anything. And plus, just for careful measures, I have the lens cap on. So now once you're done using the camera, you simply do it as you turned it on. Task in progress, once the screen goes black, you push it back in, you place the camera down gently. Now the interesting part about this camera is that it has a whole bunch of gimmies and gimmicks. So what's interesting to me is this AC adapter that is currently plugged in it will charge the battery, the battery that we saw before down here, inside the camera. It will charge the battery while it's inside the camera. In order to do that, you simply, careful, pull this back, with the tube, gently place it in, then put the camera down gently. You will know if it's charging and you did the right thing because you will see an orange light appear by the power charge button. So now put it, place it back. And for starters, I should have mentioned this earlier. This is the lens hood. You put it on in front of the camera as more protection. This camera shotgun microphone 
It attaches to the camera on the side as you saw the charger where the AC adapter was. It's very low quality, but it still gets the job done. But if you're really wanting to be more professional, you use the XLR audio module. This piece of equipment connects to the camera through the audio right here. And in order to connect it, you have to use the unit cable that I presented to you earlier. So you simply get the camera. You look for the audio, which is right here. Gently take it off, you apply the unit cable, and you connect it to the audio module. Now, in order to get better shots, you may want to use the XL viewfinder, the Canon XL XC15, excuse me, XC15 viewfinder. Now the viewfinder, it helps frame a shot or a scene, and it helps steady the camera. So, if I was to put it on, gently take this top part off, and you simply apply it to the bottom of the camera like this. You attach it on and make sure it's firm tight so that it doesn't get it loose or anything. It helps you keep the stop shot steady and frame framing. You have to be careful with this equipment. And now this LED light helps give light off for the scene and for the picture or if you're filming and it makes mobile framing easier so that you can move with it and have your own source of light. So now my all time favorite of this list and the last portion I'm gonna explain is this hot shoe adapter. My hot shoe adapter is probably my first favorite along with my mystery box. That I'll explain to you after this. But the special thing about the hot shoe adapter is that it has three hot shoes on top of it. It's similar to an extension cord. So the camera, as you can see, has only one hot shoe, but with the hot shoe adapter, once you connect it, now you have three, three other options. So say you needed an LED light. Let's keep focus. It's simple. You just attach it to the hot shoe. And you needed the XLR audio module to help you increase the volume and the quality of the audio and sound. So now, with this hot shoe adapter, careful, it's all three of them are connected. It's amazing what such a <laughs> Uh, interesting object can do for you. And now the last bit I want to explain to you are the filters that you put in front of the camera. So if you were to put them on, you need to take the lens cap off, use the lens hood, and simply put the filters on there as well. Be careful when you're touching the camera because this can get scratched as well. And as I said before, you break it, you buy it. So last but not least, my mystery box, number three. Inside, you have three different filters. First, you have the UV filter that blocks UV rays that may enter your scene or your photo or your film. You've got the neutral density filter, which modifies wavelengths and colors. And then you have my all-time favorite to pronounce, <laughs> the CPL, or as I say, the Circular Polarizer Linear Filter, which reduces a glare on an image. It is important to understand and know what all these objects do so that you can have quality film and you can be successful in the future. Thank you.